According to historical sources, the story of Greece began deep in prehistory and has continued to our days. My brief overview of Greece is compiled into this video as an introduction to viewers about the Greek culture and traditions. In many ways, this video and the information compiled was no easy task to compress, as the history of ancient Greece is very complex. My main focus is to concentrate on Greek wedding traditions as it coincides with the content written in my book, Ceremonies Unveiled, Weddings from Around the World. To get a more in-depth look into Greek wedding traditions, click on the link in the bio below to purchase your copy. The history of Greece can be traced back to Stone Age hunters and later came farmers. This was followed by a period of wars and invasions known as the Middle Ages. Much of the Greek civilization has survived either directly or through changes to the present day. One of the most entertaining and fascinating aspects of the Greek culture is its elaborate mythology that involves gods, heroes, deeds, and mortals all of which colored the physical world with elaborate stories and personalities. Myths, legends, deeds, and heroes flooded ancient Greek beliefs, enriching a large portion of literature and art. Marriages in ancient Greece were arranged by both sets of parents. A financial arrangement called a dowry was made between the families. Girls married between the ages of 14 to 18, while typically men married in their 20s or even 30s. The main religion in Greece and the Greek islands is Christian Orthodox, and this still holds strong until this present day. In modern times, couples in Greece and around the globe follow a number of Greek wedding customs. There are too many to name, so I picked some of the most popular traditions. According to Greek Orthodox, there are dates during the year that are considered good luck and others that should be avoided at all costs. Dates that should be avoided include the first two weeks of August, these are devoted to the Virgin Mary, Lent, the 40 days before Easter, August 29th, which marks the death of St. John the Baptist, September 14th, which is the celebration of the exhalation of the Holy Cross, and any time in the 40 days leading up to Christmas. January and June are considered good months for marriage. In ancient times, January was the month dedicated to the wife of Zeus and the goddess of marriage and fertility, Hera. June became a special month after the Romans translated Hera to Juno and dedicated the sixth month of the year to her. Another wedding tradition includes the combato, otherwise known as the best man. He will shave the groom on the morning of the ceremony to signify trust. Then the close friends step in to help get him dressed. The kumbara, or maid of honor, leads the bridal party to the bride to help get her dressed and ready for the ceremony as well. The Kumbaro and Kumbara will go on to become the godparents of the couple's children. Some symbols of good luck would include placing a lump of sugar inside the bride's glove as it's said to ensure a sweet life and adding a gold coin to in the inside of her shoe will bring good financial fortune. Iron is said to ward off evil spirits throughout the day so the groom should put a piece in his pocket. Couples invite an odd number of guests and invite an odd number of attendants to stand beside them as odd numbers are considered good luck and can never be divided. The number three is especially symbolic in Greek weddings, representing Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. A tradition dating back to ancient times is to spit after offering congratulations or compliments to the couple. Today, in modern times, guests mimic the act of spitting, blowing a puff of breath through their pursed lips. Due to the rule of the threes, spitting three times brings greater luck. Continuing the tradition of three, at the start of the ceremony, the couple place the rings on the tips of their wedding fingers and the combato will exchange them three times. The priest will then bless them three times. During the ceremony, the couple holds candles throughout the ceremony to represent the light of Christ. The couple also shares what is known as a common cup, and they each will take three sips of wine from the cup, representing a successful union. One of the most recognizable traditions of the Greek wedding is the marital crowns, or stephana. These are two beautiful pieces made from flowers or ornate metals and joined together by a strand of ribbon. They symbolize the union of two people into a single couple. The crowns are swapped back and forth by the best man three times, and the couple wear them as they walk around the altar three times to represent their journey through life together. 
The priest will bless the couple before removing the crowns. To learn more about Greek wedding traditions and to go more in depth into Greek wedding reception traditions, be sure to purchase my book, Ceremonies Unveiled, Weddings from Around the World, at www.ceremoniesunveiled.com. To see more behind the scenes on wedding traditions and customs from around the globe, please connect with me on social media, Facebook and Instagram, at Ceremonies Unveiled, or my personal page, at Britt Bertino.